Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back again to One Question a Day. The question that we are going to discuss today is a very important question from exam point of view. What is the theories of tooth eruption? Begin the answer by saying what a tooth eruption. What a tooth eruption is? It is a functional movement of a functional physiological movement of the tooth, rather the tooth germ, newly formed tooth from its place of formation within the bony crypt into the place of function along the occlusal plane. There are four most commonly accepted theory. They are the bone remodeling theory, root formation theory, vascular pressure theory, periodontal ligament traction theory. Bone remodeling theory says that once the tooth starts to form, after a, the crown is completed, there is an inherent, because the length of the root tooth becomes bigger, there is a selective resorption and deposition happening underneath the developing tooth germ that pushes the tooth above or towards the occlusal plane. So that force causes resorption at the cuspal or incisal edges and allowing some space for the tooth germ to be lifted off. Subsequently, when more and more root part is being deposited, the cycle continues till that point, till the root completion uh, completes. The dental follicle is required in a proper position to achieve the bone remodeling and tooth eruption, right? The next theory is the root formation theory. This believes that the proliferating root works on a, or exerts an epically directed force that is reversed by the presence of an occlusive air sling that is called as cushion hammock. Hence, this theory is also called as cushion hammock ligament theory. People believe that there is a existence of a cushion hammock ligament below the developing tooth germ and the proliferating root or developing root impinges on this fixed base and when it reaches a critical mass, it is propelled or epically directed force through an epically directed force, this pushes the tooth to a eruption. And that sling is believed to be the cushion hammock ligament by certain people. And certain people believe that to be the cubernacular cord. Whatever the thing, both the theories unite in the fact that there is an occlusal movement directed by this cushion hammock ligament or the cubernacular cord. The next most important theory is the vascular pressure theory. This indicates that there is a local increase in blood pressure at the epical region, which with every pulsation causes a minor small movement occlusally of the tooth. So when there is an increased blood pressure due to the increased demand or the nutritional supply, with every pulsation, there is a small incremental eruption happening. The periodontal ligament traction theory says that the cells and fibers of periodontal ligament possesses certain contractile force and the tooth movement is initiated and brought about by this fibroblast contractile practice with a specialized area or attachment of collagen fibers called as fibronectins with the material called as fibronectin. The oblique arrangement of fibers right via the fibronexus and fibronectin pulls the forming tooth into the apical, uh, sorry, into its occlusal position. This is the most accepted theory. This by itself can be a short notes. So we have to draw a neat diagram that demonstrate the presence of apical, uh, what is it? The formation of the tooth, apical forces, the role of the contractile element, fibronexus, fibronectin. The keywords will be the contractile properties, fibronexus, oblique alignment. That a very important question is being completed.